Alright guys, today I'm just going to give you an insight about a simple physics problem related to dot and cross products between any two vectors. So, for example, I have two vectors A and B over here. A reads as 3i hat plus 4j minus 5k, whereas B reads as 2i hat minus 6j hat plus 4k hat. So here, i, j, k are the unit vectors along x-axis, y-axis, and z-axis respectively. So let's go ahead and start the problem. So from the first question, we can see that it wants us to calculate dot products between vectors a and b. So, so let's start with problem a. So here we have to calculate the dot products between a and b. So I can write it as 3i plus 4z hat minus 5k hat dotted with, you know, 2i minus 6z plus 4k. So, you have to be careful about uh, this problem. So, all of you know that when I dot i with i and then z with z, and then k with k, you will simply get 1. Whereas, I mean, anything apart from that will just get reduced to 0. So, I'm just concerned about multiplying the coefficient of i with i, and then coefficient of z with z, and then coefficient of k with k. So, this will give me 3 times 2 minus 4 times 6 minus 5 times 4 so it's 6 minus 24 minus 20 so it's all together you know 24 minus 6 it's 18 so it's minus 38 you can see over here this quantity is scalar so whenever you have a dot product of any two vectors you will get a scalar quantity that's why we often you know call it as scalar product instead of dot product so dot product is often called as scalar product all right all right so the first problem is already solved so let's go down to second problem where it wants you to calculate the cross product so we have again the same two vectors it's 3i plus 4z minus 5k so i have the vector a is equal to this thing and then i also have the vector b 2i minus 6z and then plus 4k so let's do step by step let's start from it over here so if i multiply this quantity the first one will give 3 times 2 i cross i and then minus this is 3 times 6 i cross z and then this one is 3 times 4 i cross k all right and then plus this one will be 4 times 2 z cross i minus 4 times 6 z cross z plus 4 times 4 z cross k now we have another term so it will give you 5 times 2 k cross i and then plus 5 times 5 times 6 k cross z and then minus 5 times 4 k cross k all right so let's go into the next step so all of you by now should know that if you cross i with i it should be equal to crossing z with z 
and then it will be equal to crossing k with k and this is actually equal to 0 and then if you have three unit vectors i z k it will actually go in cyclic permutation that is i cross z will equal to k and then z cross k will be equal to i and then k cross i will equal to z so if you reverse it order for example z cross i you will be getting minus of k k cross z you'll be getting minus of i and then i cross k will give you minus of z let's simply apply this trick over here and then it will give you a cross b equals to this quantity if we go over here it's zero we don't need it anymore so this quantity it is again reduced to zero and then finally this quantity it is reduced to zero so the second term over here gives me minus of 18 so i cross z will give you k right so this one is i cross k is your minus of z this will be minus 12 z and then this will give you z cross i i cross z is k z cross i is minus k so it's 4 to the 8 minus of z cross i is k similarly over here this will give you z cross k is equal to i so it's 16 i and then this is minus of 10 k cross i is again z minus of 10 z and then finally it's k cross z is minus of i so it's minus of 30 i all right so if you have done it correctly so now let's actually collect the terms that we have i so we have two i's 16 i and minus of 30 i that will give you minus of 14 i and then if you go over z it's minus of 22 z and then if you go over k it's minus of 26 k so as you see over here you get this cross product to be a vector quantity this is a vector quantity vector quantity that's why we often say cross product as the vector product remember guys scalar product gives you scalar quantity and then vector product or cross products will give you vector quantity all right guys so the third question is is to calculate the angle between vectors a and b so for this particular problem we'll use the definition of the dot product for example if you have vector a in this direction and vector b in this direction and then you have theta as angle between these two vectors so simply the definition of dot product a dot b says it will be simply equal to a b cosine of theta all right so from here you can say cosine of theta is simply a dotted with b divided by magnitude of a times magnitude of b so we already know what actually a dot b is but we need to calculate the magnitude of a and the magnitude of b so for any vector say for any vector v if you have x i plus y z plus z k then its magnitude is simply given by the square root of x squared plus y squared plus z squared all right so magnitude of a over here 
will simply be 3 squared plus 4 squared plus minus 5 squared which is actually 5 squared it's the same so this will be actually so 9 plus 16 plus 25 which is equal to you know so it's 25 square root of 50 so it's yeah square root of 50 it's 7 point something all right guys so cosine of theta is equal to the a dot b and then whatever magnitude we have for a times whatever magnitude we have for b so since i plugged in these values over here i'll get something like this cosine of theta is equal to 0.71 negative 0.71 so theta will be cosine inverse of negative 0.71 which will actually give me 135.93 degree so that's how you actually calculate the angle between a and b all right guys so this was the all about today's problem so i calculated the dot product between two vectors and then i calculated the cross product between two vectors and finally i also got the angle between the two vectors a and b uh, all right so that's all for today for next time i'll come up with some interesting problems related to the other areas of vectors till then you all have a nice time